what's good basketball heads it's your boy crush so here we are in game five and it's already over it's halftime and the mavericks are up by almost 30. luca came out super ultra aggressive looking for a shot the man couldn't miss luca came out on a mission you could tell he's like i'm gonna put these dudes away early luca came out he led the charge and everybody followed along Kyrie started slightly slow and then Kyrie picked it up, man. And Luca and Kyrie is killing these dudes. It's basically over. The Wolf came out with no energy, no urgency. Carl Anthony Towns finally started attacking the rim. It took this man five games to say, you know what? Let me be aggressive and attack the rim. It took him five games to figure that out. But it's too late. It's too late. So what he should have done in game one, game two, three, four. Now he's trying to do, but it's too late. Luca came out, man, on a mission. This man is possessed. And Kyrie is right along with him. Luca had, what, 20 plus points at halftime. Kyrie has 19 at halftime. So they have 40 plus points between both of them at halftime. This is crazy. The Timberwolves are down by almost 30. The game is over. The game is over. And I love their defensive strategy. On Ant-Man. Basically, they kept doubling him. You know, they blitzed him. They wouldn't let Ant-Man do what he wanted to do. They continued to double him, put pressure on him, and force him to give the basketball up. So they're playing great defense, great defense. And Luca and Kyrie, they're in NBA street mode. It's over. It's over, man. It's over. You know, they won game four, started chirping Ant-Man as usual. He's young, I get it. Started, you know, started chirping. I guess he figured, you know, we're going to be the first team in the history of the NBA to rally back from 3-0 and win. Delusional. Delusional. Another thing that I really like is the Mav kept attacking the paint. If you notice, they kept on attacking the paint. Real decisive. Attack the paint. Attack, attack. It's constantly pressure at the rim. Attacking the paint. So they came out with a great game plan. And when you have Kyrie and Luka on fire, it's over, man. It is over. Game over. Put a fork in it. The Wolf came out too relaxed. No urgency. I guess they're still on that high from game four. You know, they didn't get swept. And I guess they're, you know, they are complacent with not being swept. Oh, we didn't get swept, so we feel good. Like, this is not good, man. That kind of behavior and mindset is not good. Just because we didn't get swept, we are happy. At least they didn't sweep us. And it's over. Game over. Game over. Luca and Kyrie is not playing tonight. It's over. The game is over by halftime. This is like a Mike Tyson fight. That's crazy. I am basically recording before the game is over because I am a million percent sure the game is over. They are not coming back from 30. They're down basically 30. They're not coming back. The amount of energy it would take to rally back from 30, you're going to be exhausted. It's over, man. It's over. You would have to outscore the math by like 20 points in the third quarter. You know, Carl Anthony Town finally got the memo because in the first half, most of his buckets was driving, attacking the rim. You know, he wasn't settling for jumpers. It took Cat five game, a lot of criticism from everybody, NBA fans, sports media. Everybody criticized him. You know, you're too big. You're a big man. Why are you, why are you shooting all these jump shots? Charles, Shaq, everybody criticizes dude. And now he's finally doing what he was supposed to like three, four games ago. But it's too late. Game over. You waited too long to be aggressive. If you are a big man, seven foot, you should always be aggressive in the paint. You shouldn't be on the perimeter shooting jump shots all goddamn day. That doesn't make any sense. You're seven foot shooting jump shots all day. So I applaud him for being aggressive. I, w I mean, I will applaud Cat for being aggressive. But it's too late. They waited too late, man. And the Mav have all the momentum. All the energy, I don't see how the Timberwolves is going to manage to rally back and force a game six. It's not happening. It's not happening. Luca is on a mission. He's focused. This man is shooting 35-foot shots and yelling at the bench. 
Like, Luca is on one tonight, and Kyrie is just being Kyrie. The dude is killing him. Him and Luca, killing him. It's a massacre. Game over, man. Game over. I guess the Wolf thought winning game four, the Mav was just gonna, I mean, the Mav was going to come to Minnesota and lay down. You think they're going to lay down for you? You have to beat the hell out of them. They're not going to lay down. That's obvious. But somehow they thought the Mav was going to lay down. It's over, man. It's been fun. This is a learning lesson for Ant-Man. You know, he's one of my favorite players of, you know, of this gen. And this is a learning experience for him. To be humble, you know, you got to learn to be humble. All that trash talking, it's okay at times, but you got to know when to be quiet. You can't be down 3-1 talking crazy. You're down 3-0, you're talking crazy. That don't make sense. You got to learn when to hush. So this series is over, man. There's nothing left. It's done. What more can I say? Luca came out possessed. Kyrie came out possessed. And that's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. The Timberwolves had a great run. You know, they made it far. No one saw them making it this far. The Western Conference Finals, it's a great accomplishment. It's a great feat for a young team. They don't need to hang their heads, but Ant-Man got to learn to be quiet. All that lip bumping. If you're not doing nothing, be quiet. But this shit is sad, man. Cat finally decided to be aggressive and he's attacking the paint. Majority of his buckets is at the rim. If only he did this in game one, two, and three. Shit is sad, man. Just because he got a couple of lucky threes in game four, let's be real. The man was, I mean, the man been shooting bad the entire series. So in game four, at the end, he got a few lucky threes. They went in, they won. And they're complacent with that. They're happy. Oh, we won. That's it. Man, it's over. There's not much more to be said, man. You know, I'm just covering the game at halftime. I'm not going to waste my time and wait for the end of the game. There's no point. It's over. They're down almost 30. There's no point. But it was a good run. You know, Kyrie Luka is headed to the finals. Kyrie is headed back to the finals again. So now we have a chance to win a championship without LeBron, with Luka. And you know I'm rooting for the Mavericks. I am rooting for the Mavericks. And I feel like they're going to get it done. I don't know how the Boston Celtics are going to guard Luka and Kyrie. I don't know. And Boston, Boston has pretty good defense, but these are different animals we're talking about. But let me not jump the guns, man. I'll wait for that series to begin. But this one is over, man. Put a fork in it. It's done. It's time to eat, kids. The food is done. It's over. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.